We're on the hunt for America's most extreme backyards, and today we're in southern Missouri. It is beautiful. We're going to be meeting Olympic shooter Alan Treadwell, and we're going to see where his Olympic journey began. We're going to take you straight to his training ground, and trust me, folks, you are not going to believe this place. I'm Mark Wills, and this is Extreme Backyarding. Man, Mark, talk about riding up in style. This thing is a beast, brother. It really is. Tell me what we're looking at here. Well, we built an international skeet field in my backyard. I got a high house on this side because it's the tall one, right. obviously. On the other side, we have the low house. Okay. Targets are coming out a little bit lower. Uh, I got a pull cord that hooks up in the middle, and on that pull cord, I got three buttons. Okay. I got a high, a low, and a double, so you can control the entire field from those buttons. Inside the houses, I got two automatic clay target machines in there with big carousels on top of them, allowing each one of them to hold 400 targets so I can shoot a long time before I got to reload them. And then as the field goes in a semicircle, I got eight different stations. Right. Station one starts right underneath the high house, station two, three, all the way around, station seven is right there by the low house and eight's out in the middle. You shoot 25 shells, it consists of an entire round. Why do you have this in your backyard? And to train like you need to do to become an Olympian, you gotta train all the time. And the closest place we could go train was an hour away. So instead of driving an hour there and an hour back every day, uh, made a lot more sense. You drove 45 feet outside the back door. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. incredible, man. I know very little about this, but I can tell you that the one time I shot it, position eight was my worst. I'll tell you what, if you leave with anything today, I'm gonna teach you how to shoot station eight. Well, let's do that. There you go. That All right. fits you right there. Yeah, man. I tell you what. Why don't we? Uh, why don't you shoot around for me? Kind of show me what we're looking at. This field is down to the millimeter, down to the tenth of an inch to be in scale to anywhere in the world. We had to use transits, we had to use tape measures, we had strings stretched everywhere trying to get everything just right. By being able to train on the exact field all over the world, you know, my performances in overseas matches were better because I had that consistency from my house. Nice. All right, now it's your turn. So it's 25 out of 25, I'm thinking, one out of 25? You're gonna do better than that. You I'll help so? you out. I'll help you out. Ah! Beautiful. Nice shot. Smoked him. I was so amazed by how well Mark did. He come to my backyard on my field and my sport and shot amazingly. I would be nervous as I could be if I was getting on stage with Mark to sing with him, but he come and got on my stage and performed flawlessly. You know, it was a lot of fun. I greatly, greatly appreciate the invitation to come out here and shoot. You have an absolutely amazing backyard and uh, you should feel very blessed. Although I don't train on this field like I used to and the Olympic level, what I am doing now on this skeet field is I'm training the next generation of Olympians. I try to teach them and coach them the right ways to where maybe one day they'll realize their dreams. So the skeet field is living on through the next generation. That was a great experience. What an amazing property. And to spend the afternoon with an Olympic athlete was awesome. And so, the hunt continues for America's most extreme backyards. <laughs>